The first symptoms that I noticed were 10 years ago. I first noticed the tremors uh, back when I was about uh, age 34. When I was 14, my handwriting got a little worse. I was a freshman last year, and um, we had to do the writing test. I had it all in my head, I swear, but I just didn't want to come down to my fingers. I had a friend tell me that my head would shake during a meeting. I have the essential tremor, and there is not, nothing more they can do for me. Tremor is a shake, typically affecting the hands. It may also affect uh, the head, it may affect the voice, it may occasionally affect uh, the leg as well. It is the most common movement disorder. It is one of the most common neurological diseases, bar none. At 10 years, I lived with the symptoms without knowing it was essential tremor. You don't want to be diagnosed with something that you can't fix. And that's really frustrating because you're stuck with it. I knew it was going to affect her quality of life. It will become more difficult for her to dress herself, to feed herself. It's hard because I can't always get the backs of my earrings on. And so that's a little frustrating. You have to run to your mom and be like, hey mom, can you put on my own earrings? I'm 16, but can you put on my earrings? I look in the mirror and try to put makeup on and the head doesn't want to quit shaking. When, when eating super chilly, with my right hand, by the time I get to my mouth with the spoon while the spoon's empty. I don't fill cups and glasses full. If you've ever tried to read a book and your head is bobbling, you're reading almost every sentence three times because you can't follow the sentence across. I'm mostly confined to, to my recliner chair. I feel like it, it comes off as a sign of weakness if you're shaky. Um, People don't understand how to perceive a shaky person. They think they're nervous or they think they're insecure. At first, it would bother me. Two tears. Having people stare at you is frustrating because you don't know what's on their mind. It's the small things that kids will notice. They'll be like, Hannah, why are you nervous? You're shaking so bad. I say that I have an essential tremor, that this has been hereditary in my family, that um, my grandfather had it, that I'm not nervous, I'm not scared, I'm not weak, I'm just, I just shake. And I think that's what essential tremor patients are the most concerned about, is losing our dignity. I can't go out of the house without holding on to my husband. I'm, I'm just useless. Compared to Parkinson's disease, which is also a field where I work in, in, in the last 10 years, we've had about five to seven new drugs uh, for Parkinson's. With essential tremor, we try drugs that we use for other indications, but there has not been that sort of focused research that's required.
it affects daily life. And so if there was a medication that worked better than what's out there right now, it would change everything. I would give anything if they could find an answer.